Hey there boys and girls, Lucky here and welcome back to another CSGO video. Today we got another update for Counter-Strike Global Offensive, so I'd say let's get right into it. Alright, so first of all, let's get the miscellaneous things out of the way. They added a couple of things for the Perfect World CSGO beta for the Chinese servers. They also added Team ID options for always on with equipment to the game settings menu. You can also now properly see the overhead equipment displayed while being in the spectator mode. They also fixed the overhead equipment and not being displayed in some cases at all. And they also fixed the orientation of stickers on dropped weapons as we were all waiting for. On top of that, they also added a couple of game state integration things for tournament organizers, which you should not worry too much about. As per usual, the chickens are in the holiday spirit, meaning they will now wear bunny ears and will bunny hop around. If you press E on them, they will also lay eggs and follow you again with bunny hopping. And I think also, if they're getting scared, they will lay even more eggs, so that's also kind of funny. Of course, they're colored eggs, so they're kind of cool. They also changed a couple of audio things. Most importantly, the volume now decays smoothly over a distance instead of being set to certain steps, depending on what range the sound is being displayed from. They also adjusted some HRTF audio things, so that it should now more closely match the sound quality of HRTF and they also added a couple of things as a command that you can check out in the description down below as well which allows HRTF to more closely match the perceived direction of a sound source as seen by the actual player behind the monitor. They also fixed the bug, so that's quite nice as well. Now let's move on to the big changes of this patch. This is the reintroduction of the R8 revolver as well as the negative to the competitive matchmaking mode. The R8 revolver's price has been reduced to 700, making it on par with the Deagle, but you're also getting one extra bullet, so it's definitely quite interesting to see how this is going to play out. And the big change is once again for the negative. The price of the negative has been reduced to 2000 as a starting point to promote experimentation with the weapon. So I'm I'm sure that there will be some experimentation and they're definitely promoting the experimentation with that. I'm not so sure if the competitive matchmaking mode is the right place for that, but I assume that they were not gathering enough like information from casual in deathmatch, so they're now actually trying to see what it is uh, or what it will be like in a competitive matchmaking environment in the well matchmaking mode. So yeah, you now have to decide between a negative and an XM1014, which is kind of crazy, but then again the negative has been changed, so I'm not sure if it's that big of a deal. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. But yeah, I think it's been a show for now, so I hope you enjoyed the video, and lucky skill faker out!